Hey guys, Namaste and welcome to our YouTube channel, Tutor Prati. As many beginners that are trying to make a website on a blogger, today I am here with your requested video to create menus and submenus on our blogger. On any website, the menus and submenus are very important. So before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that it will be notified whenever we publish our new videos. So let's begin today's video. For now, we have a simple blogger which have the default template provided by the blogger. It will be best idea to change this default theme into professional themes. To get free professional blogger themes, and on Google, just type and search free blogger templates. Then on search results, click any links you like. Then find your required blogger template and download it. In general, the default blogger templates doesn't support the underscore menu system. So before downloading any themes, you can check is it supported or not. Here we can see that in this theme, we have multiple level of sub -menus. So I am going to download this theme. After downloading the theme, the theme will be in a zip format, so just extract this zip format. Now let's go to our blogger. Now to install the downloaded theme, go to the theme and inside it click on this backup and restore. After then click on this choose file. Then go to the folder of your downloaded theme and inside our theme folder choose the XML file and click open. Then click on upload. Congrats we installed successfully our new downloaded theme. Let's check it out. After installing our new theme, we have to configure our website according to our requirement. Like we have to change our website logo. We can edit and change our menu items. For now, we are just going to create these menus and submenus as per our requirement. So for this, on our blogger, go to the layout. Then as per our theme, we have a various widgets installed in our layout. You can edit any widgets as per your requirement, like the first one top navigation that is for this home about and contact page. Similarly, you can do for the social widgets and the sticker messages as well as you can change the header logo, advertisements, mobile logos etc. For now, we are going to work on this main menu drop down, multi drop down and mag menu. This link list widget is for editing our main menu. So. To edit our main menu, click on this edit. For now, let's delete this default menu. Now I remove all the default menus so we don't have any menus on our menu bar. Now to add the menus, click on this link list and then on this new site name, give the name for your menu like films and on this new site URL you can give the URL link for this films menu. For now I am just going to give has as a URL. Then click on this add link. Similarly you can add another menus as per your requirement like music and books. Save it. Here we can see that we have three menus, books, music, films. 
If you want to change the arrangement of this menus, like you want to make these films in a first row and books into the last, you can change it from the same widget. Click on this edit. To get these films on the top side, just click on this up arrow to move up side. And similarly, to take these books into the last, click on this down arrow. Then save it. In first we have films, then music and books. Now the second task that we are waiting for is creating sub menu inside this main menu. For creating the sub menus inside this main menu, we will use the same widget and on the new site name to create the sub menu just type the underscore and give the sub menu name. Like I'm going to give the film sub menu Hollywood and for link I'm just going to give the hash. Similarly, I'm going to add one more sub links for films Bollywood. Now the another thing we have to do is we have to arrange the sub menus just below on its main menu. Like we have to put this Bollywood and Hollywood sub menus just below of this film. For this, just I'm moving up the film main menu, the upside, and now we can see that in first we have the films, after then we have underscore Bollywood and then underscore Hollywood and music and books. So by using this underscore and arranging them on the just below of the main menu makes these two items are sub menus of this main menu. Now save it. Wow, congrats! Here we can see that after we have the sub menu, it has already added one icon. And when we over a mouse, here we can find our two sub menus. Similarly, you can add how much sub menus you required inside this main menu. And also, you can add the sub menus for others. Like, I'm going to add inside the book menu. Here we can see that a small drop down arrow is showing on a books menu. So when we click on this books, we have two sub menus inside it. Along with these menus and sub menus, you want to create third level sub menus like we want to add English and Nepali for this Palpasa Cafe. For this, again we will go to the same widget. And on this new site name, for creating the third level sub menu, we will add two underscore. And then we will give the third sub menu name, like English. And then for second third level sub menu, after giving the two underscores, Nepali. Now let's order our menu items. Now let's refresh our website. On our books menu, we have the sub menu and inside this Palpasa Cafe sub menu, we have again another third level sub. So in this way, you can create any level of menus as per your requirement. After that, whenever we create a new post, we have to use a label to keep a proper categorization. For example, I created one post and this is related to the Bollywood movies. So to make this post listed in the sub menu Bollywood, we will use a level Bollywood. You can give any levels for your post as per your content. We can also give the multiple levels by using the comma separator. For now, I am just giving Bollywood and Films two levels. For getting posts related to this Bollywood label, we will click on this Bollywood and then we just copy slash search label and then Bollywood. Now click on this edit for this Bollywood sub menu and on this URL just paste slash search slash label slash Bollywood as our label name. Now save it. After that, when we click the Films and Bollywood sub-menu, we will get the posts that have this Bollywood label only. 
if you have your previous post click on edit and you can give the label like volume and friends update your post for this post I am going to give new label Hollywood and films similarly we can give the labels for all our posts click edit on this Hollywood sub menu and we will give the link slash search slash label slash and under this Hollywood we will give our label name Hollywood save it so isn't it very easy to create menu items in your blogger but this type of underscore feature is only available on a new blogger theme if you are using the default theme of blogger we do not have available the menu gadgets and it doesn't support the underscore feature so to get the underscore feature for creating menus and submenus in the basic themes, we have to change the theme code that able to support our underscore feature for creating menus and submenus. On our next video, we will learn about how to activate the underscore feature for creating menus and submenus on this basic blogger theme. That's all for today. We will come back soon with new videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.